In this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be doing a demonstration of the while loop. For this demonstration, we first need a variable of type int. We're going to go ahead and call this variable x, and we're going to assign it an initial value of 0. From here, we can go ahead and create our while loop. Now, first, we're going to start off with the keyword of while. Then, inside of parentheses, we're needing to put some sort of expression that evaluates to a Boolean, either true or false, value. Typically, this is with the use of a relational operator. For our purposes, we're going to do a comparison of the value of x to see if it is less than the constant of 5. Then after our parentheses, we're going to put some curly braces, and this is going to be the scope of our while loop. Now inside the scope of our while loop are commands that will be repeated each time that the while loop expression is evaluated to true. Let's go ahead and do a console.write line, and we're just going to write out the value of x to the console window. Now as it stands, this is an infinite loop, and that's because the value of x is 0. Then when the while loop expression is evaluated, 0 is indeed less than 5, which means that the console will write the value of x of 0 to the console window. But then since we're not changing the value of x, when the while loop expression gets re-evaluated, it's once again going to be 0 is less than 5. And so it will execute the code inside of the while loop scope. And this will continue on perpetually because nothing is changing the value of x. At some point, we need the expression x less than 5 to be false. Something has to change that condition so that the while loop will stop. The best way to do this is to simply add the incremental operator to the value of x. Now, each time the while loop code is executed, it will increase the value of x by 1. So now, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to add our console.read line. Let's go ahead and do this outside of the while loop so that we can go ahead and write all of our x values before we get asked to enter a key. Now that this is complete, let's go ahead and run our application and see what results we get. So the results are, in our console window, we see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it's asking for us to type some sort of key on the keyboard. Now I want to illustrate to you the importance of which side of the x variable you're placing the incremental operator. We can actually modify our while loop a little bit by getting rid of the x++ statement and instead add x++ as our console.write line. You have to remember that the side of the x variable that we place the incremental operator has a lot to do with the values that will be written when the console.write line statement is executed. When the incremental operator is after the variable x, that means that the value of x will be increased after the console.write line statement is completed. This should result in the same results on our console window that we saw when we previously ran the application. Let's go ahead and try it. So indeed we see that the first value is 0, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and that is the final value that we see. So what would happen if we placed the incremental operator before the variable x? Let's try that and see what results we get. Here the results are that the first number is 1, Remember previously, it was 0. And our final number is 5 now, whereas previously it was 4. So the results that we get on our screen are dramatically affected by which side of the variable x we place the incremental operator. Let's go ahead and try one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and take the incremental operator out of the while loop, and instead I'm going to add it to the expression. Let's go ahead and add our incremental operator preceding the variable x. That way the value of x is evaluated first before the relational operator is. Additionally, I'm going to go ahead and set a breakpoint here on our while loop expression. Let's go ahead and run the application and see what we get. Down here in the bottom, we can see what the value of x is in our autos window. So if we step through the code, after the while loop expression is evaluated, we can see that the value of x has increased to 1. 
since the incremental operator increased the value of x before performing the relational operator against the value of 5, that means 1 less than 5 resulted in a true value, and we're going to perform the commands inside the while loop scope. And of course, the console.write line is going to write the value of x, which is 1. And if we skip down past that line and check out our console window, we can see there indeed is the value of 1 being written to the console window. Let's loop through again, and we'll see that the value of x is now 2. It writes 2 to the console window. We can move through the loop one more time and see that now x is 3, gets written to the console. Now we have x is 4, written to the console window. x is now 5, and since x is 5, it skips that. And if we look at the values that get outputted to the console window, we see we only get 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is yet again a different set of results that we get in our console window because of the location and which side of the x variable we're placing the incremental operator.